Six, thanks. We continue our team coverage tonight by looking into the suspect, Desmond Campbell. Two News investigator Marla Carter digs into his past and joins us live from 129th and Admiral. Marla? Desmond Campbell's car sits in this impound lot tonight, and as Max mentioned, Campbell is recovering in the hospital tonight. Of course, that crash was on Sunday. Police say just 10 minutes after he allegedly attacked a woman. Now, here's some video of that car. You can see it's all mangled up. It is a 2001 Honda Civic. It was wrapped around the side of a pole on I-44. And here's what else we know about Campbell. He has a criminal background and was just released from prison in April. That's just seven weeks before the first sexual assault was reported. He was convicted of attempted robbery and attempted kidnapping in Oklahoma County, and he was sentenced to 10 years in prison. He was scheduled for release in 2015, but again, he was released a year early in 2014. The two news investigators did some searching, and we looked through documents and found Campbell is not on the sexual offender or violent offender registry in Oklahoma. And prior to prison, he had an Oklahoma City address. He was also sued for child custody while in prison in 2008. We'll continue to follow this story. Reporting live from East Tulsa, Marla Carter, 2 News Works for you. Hi, Marla, thanks. Going in depth now, we have more pictures of the man police say is responsible for multiple attacks in Tulsa in recent weeks. On the left is Desmond Campbell's mugshot from the Department of Corrections. The middle is the police sketch drawn up from victims' recollection of the suspect. And the final picture is from Campbell's Facebook page. To see more pictures of the serial attacker suspect, you can head to our website, kjrh.com.